Hey guys, it's Erica with Perfectly Pink and Particularly Sassy, and today I am doing a completely different video. Uh, most of my videos recently, you haven't seen my face. So um, the reason for that is it's just a lot easier for me when I'm like showing products just to show them on the ground, let me look through the screen, and I don't think it needs to be focused on me. But today, what I'm doing, it's important that you see me because you can see that my hair is blue. So I don't know what kind of color it's gonna give off in the camera, but it's supposed to be like a lavender color. Um, it's definitely coming off more blue. It's a lot darker in some areas. And I kind of want to talk about how I did this because I think it's really cool. It's something new that's come out and it's been something that um, I've seen all over Facebook. And I haven't looked at any videos yet, but I tried something. Um, and so I thought I'd give it a quick review and share it with everybody and let you guys know what I used to do this to my hair. So, um, a lot of people have seen it online. There is a product, it's called Overtone, and it is just strictly a conditioner, shampoo type item, and you just wash it into your hair and it will gradually change the color. Um, I don't really know how they advertise it, um, if it's like a one-time thing or if it works best. Um, sorry if you hear a cat meowing, um, but um, I, my aunt is a cosmetologist and she actually found something very similar. So I told her, I was like, I found this cool shampoo. Like, let me know if they have it at any of the, um, at any of the hair places that you go to for your product. And she looked into it and she actually found something super similar. So what I've been using, and I must just like disclaimer, this has been like five or six washes and I've tried everything under the sun to get it even and it's still not even. Um, but I'll show you all of that in just a moment. So the product is Viral by Celeb Luxury, and I had never heard of this. Um, the color is in Pastel Lavender Color Wash, and it's technically a shampoo, I think. Um, the first time I tried this, it was in, she brought it to me, and it was in like a travel size bottle that was probably maybe three ounces, super small, like something that you could just throw in your bag um, just to give it a shot. And so I used that whole bottle and still didn't even get this. This is the second large bottle that I purchased. Um, the first one, like I said, was a small one. And then I already went through one of these and I have done every which way under the moon in order to try to get full coverage through my hair. Um, so my hair naturally, will is um, a dirtier blonde and I do color it, but it's still pretty blonde. So I'm gonna try to show you through here. It's kind of hard to tell. I'll try to look at my mirror too. Like you can see down in here, like there's like my natural blonde color. Um, so this is taken pretty well for the most part. It takes better on the longer hair, so it's not taking as well on my roots and my new growth. And I think that's because the color or that hair hasn't been processed yet. And what happens is, is when you process your hair or you put color onto it um, or bleach or anything like that, it makes your hair kind of dry so it absorbs things better. Not necessarily better, but more, which is why people who are blonde, um, their hair will turn green and chlorine because being dry hair um, or any hair really it just soaks up all moisture and then the chlorine gives it that green tinge so I think that's kind of like what this does but I noticed that my hair turns more green when it's been processed and colored rather than when it's in natural not that I've seen my hair in a natural color since I was probably before I can remember, before I could even drive a car, my hair has not been its natural color. Um, but this is the craziest color it's ever been. It's always just been blonde or some variation of blonde. I've got tons of pictures of me in high school. Uh, I'll try to insert some. They're kind of embarrassing. I used to wear like long blonde extensions, um, but, and I bleached my hair. I bleached my hair up and through freshman year of college and I finally decided I was like this is a really bad idea um, and it was so bad on my hair and then like my aunt went through a career change uh, the company she'd worked for for 20 some years went under and she was like I want to do hair so she got my hair healthy again and we quit bleaching it and now I just do color and it's been so much better it's so much easier to brush out um, so but let me get into like how this happened so the first time I used it I just assumed 
use it like a shampoo. So I just pulled my hair back in the shower, rinsed it out, and I also paired it with uh, Sally's brand. It's like a generic brand um, bluing shampoo. And bluing shampoo for blondes, what it does is it takes out the gold. So I kind of use that just to like base my hair out. Um, if my hair was super blonde, it can put a light lavender into it if it's too blonde when it's over correcting the gold color. So I used that first and then I put this in. And when I put it in, like I said, my hair was like all pushed back and I just washed it in and it lathers really well. So I forgot to mention one interesting thing about this and that is that it will stain your hands and it will absolutely make your bathtub look like a murder scene. Um, it's not too bad to wash out. I, after the third or fourth time, I finally broke down. I was like, I have to spray my shower down. So I just sprayed it down with like scrubbing bubbles and then like used a regular cleaning sponge. Um, but yes, this stuff will stain your hands and your bathtub. Um, so be careful. My hands have actually, I don't know, it's probably a little bright. Um, there you go. They have, uh, washed out fine and I make sure to wash them right after I put this stuff in my hair and try to keep it off my fingers but also too I just got my nails done so you can't tell but one thing that did happen is before I got my nails done the nail beds um, were very blue <laughs> inside my fingers they pick up a lot of the color so if you want to do this and you're worried about that make sure you wear gloves um, I have yet to do that but I'm also okay with having a little bit of blue on my hands I wash my hands so frequently anyway that um, it doesn't matter to me. It'll probably come off in a couple of days versus somebody who may not wash their hands as often. Um, so yeah, just a side note, if you do purchase this product, it will stain your hands to the color. I don't know what the other colors look like, but this one, I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you guys a little bit real quick. So, it is this color. It's blue, it's very like, jelly do it but yeah it'll it'll stain your hands so after I go wash this off I'll probably still have a little purple left over so just so you guys know make sure to wear gloves and um, try not to get it in your eyes and if you are really careful or not careful you'll get it in your eyebrows and your eyebrows will change colors but if that's what you want then go ahead and slather it on if not just make sure you wear gloves and make sure to keep it out of your eyes the problem was is where it lathers it doesn't necessarily put color. It only puts color right directly where you put the color on. And it's like a super thick purple. I really don't wanna, I might pour some out at the end and show you guys, but it's like a super thick purple color. And um, like I said, if it doesn't touch the hair right where the color is, it doesn't go. So the first time I did it, like I said, I just brushed it in. And then the second time I did it, I parted my hair like this, which is how I normally part it, got in the shower and got it wet. And then I just slathed on the color and it still did not have hardly any color. I mean, it was noticeable and people at work noticed it um, because of where I work. I wear my hair up a lot because I work with children and sometimes they pull it um, or grab it or it's just in the way. So I wear it up, so it's kind of hard to tell. So I literally went to my aunt's house on her day off from work and I was like, it was right after she bought me the first big bottle and I was like, will you wash this into my hair? So I laid on her countertop, she washed it in her sink and I actually let it sit. I drove home with a bag on my head, um, trying to see if like letting it sit did any better. Um, and it did have a, a noticeable impact. I then that night went out with some friends, took a picture while we were there and my dad saw it. He was like, wow, your hair is purple. That's really cool. And I was like, okay, so it was noticeable, but it still wasn't full. Like this is the fullest it's been and it's still not a hundred percent. So I'm not sure if it's the same way with the Overtone brand. That's something I wanted to try. Um, it does make my natural hair look darker, so I wonder if it's just like the contrast between the blue that is there, purple. Um, it's definitely coming off way more blue. It looks more lavender in these areas, but I think that's just because it's kind of matching with my regular hair. Um, so yeah, it does take a long time to do it. Um, they do say on the back of the bottle that it works best if you have bleach blonde hair. So let me read to you how they tell you to do it. Um, so they say to use on pre-lightened to palest blonde. So your hair needs to be platinum blonde in order for this to work perfectly. Um, and I think that being said, it might 
when you lather it, the suds may put a little bit more color into it rather than just putting it directly on your hair. But I'm not gonna bleach my hair for this. Um, and it's not that, it was, I mean like it's a little bit of work to wash my hair because I don't wash my hair every day. I only wash it maybe every other day to every three days and then dry shampoo in between because it's honestly not good to wash your hair every day. I've been washing my hair more in order to get the color fuller faster, which I wouldn't normally do. So on the instructions, it says to start cleansing with color rock, color wash, which is this, right after fresh hair color. So I think, I think this honestly works best right after you bleach your hair. Um, and it's just kind of a more simple way than to put more color on top of um, your blonde hair. So what happens is, is like often when people want to get a hair color like this or like a pink or just any unnatural hair color, it's easier to bleach your hair out first and then put on a color, a, a pastel color or a, just a color in the rainbow. And so I think what this does is it kind of takes out that extra step when getting your hair colored and it's a lot cheaper better variation which is why I think it did take better to some of my hair because I do have a lot lighter parts of my hair that could be considered platinum blonde um, but being I want all over color that just didn't work for me so it is taking more time uh, than it probably would if my hair was already pre-lightened to the palest of blondes but other than that it, I was really impressed with this um, I'm not impressed that it took so long but for the price this bottle if you buy it from Cosmoprof, which is, um, I don't know how widespread that company is, but it is a cosmetology only store, which my aunt got this for me. Um, you have to have a license in order to shop there. This bottle after tax cost me $18.56. Um, and you can actually purchase it on Amazon, but it is $24 on Amazon, so it's a little bit more pricey. So if you do know a cosmetologist, it'd probably be best to get it through them. Um, I think you can also shop there if you have a nail tech license. Uh, because they sell nail things as well. So if you just know somebody who has a Cosmoprof card, I would honestly ask them to get it for you. It saves you like six or seven dollars. Um, and then if you had to pay for shipping, that also saves you that too. So overall, I think it's really cool. I think it's a fun way to get a little bit of color in your hair without damaging your hair, without having to bleach out your hair. Um, but if you do have darker hair, this may not be the best option for you and you may still have to bleach it anyway. Um, and bleaching is super bad for your hair, especially if you do it too much, it'll overprocess your hair and you'll be dry. And in my case, my hair stopped growing. It was like probably to here and I felt like it never grew and I don't know if it was just breaking off at the ends or what the case was, but um, I will probably never go back to that bleach blend again. So, but this is super fun. Um, it's definitely not super realistic if you have a office job. Um, I have been blessed enough. I work in the field of ABA and I work with children with autism and my company is super open, super lenient and very chill with how we dress and stuff, especially for a company that's um, clinical. So I'm very lucky in that aspect, but if you have an office job, this may not be the best idea. Um, but if you're in school or if you have a more lenient job and they're cool with this kind of thing, it's definitely something fun to try. You can always just do, if you wanna just do a section of your hair instead um, and just get a little bit of color in there, this will also go a lot farther if you don't have as much hair like me or as long of hair as me. Um, and that would probably be a much more better use of your money. But if you have the time and the resources and you can find this in, your near your home. Um, I don't even know. I would assume you can buy this overseas. I, I'm in America. I don't know. Um, no animal testing. It's 100% vegan. If anybody was wondering, but yeah, they tell you to add a generous amount of color evenly throughout your hair and massage into a thick, rich lather. Which, like I said, it lathers super easy, so that shouldn't be hard. Um, and then rinse thoroughly with warm water. So they do say you can use warm water. The first couple times I did it, I did use cold water because I was a little unconvinced that. If you were to use warm water, it would wash out faster. Um, or, well, in this case, they say to use warm water, that it'll work fine with that. And I know that the other brand that's out there, Overtone, says it works best with warm water. So um, the last couple times I've showered, I've just taken normal showers. I haven't made it super hot. I don't like hot showers anyway, but I just made it pretty warm so that I wouldn't have to freeze or try to like wash my hair and not touch my body. Um, but yeah, so definitely if you are interested in some easy quick color, I'd give this a try. Um, 
like I said, it's not terribly expensive. It's only 8.25 ounces, which this bottle for the travel size that I got was $5. So I think this is about an appropriate price, um, especially because going to the salon one time will cost you just for the color without the bleach would probably cost you $70. I'd have to check into that. I don't ever pay full price for hair because my aunt does, she just charges me for the product. Um, so I'm lucky in that aspect, but for most people it costs tons of money. I know if you look at um, the Gabby show, she does her own color in her hair and she actually uses regular um, like box color and different vibrant colors. Um, so she hasn't tried this, um, but she would have to bleach her hair because she has dark brown hair. So for me it was a lot easier, but if you want to give it a try and you do have blonde hair, I think it'd be really fun. If you don't have blonde hair, you could still give it a try. I don't know how well it'll work. It'll probably definitely change the tone of your hair, um, but it also depends on what color you want to get. And they have various other colors. They do have a darker blue, um, a darker purple, they have pink, and I think they even have like gray. So that's just really, it's like an easy way, like I said, to get color without paying that salon price. Um, however, it does take some work on your end and I feel like I have been doing it where I'll put it in my hair and let it sit. I'll just wrap it up and let it sit in my hair and maybe kind of let it soak in a little bit. I don't know how much that really helps, but it's definitely not hurting it at all to leave it in a little bit longer. So to kind of get that full soak in effect. But um, this color is supposed to be lavender. It is coming off super blue. Um, and then it's very patchy in some areas and like in the parts where my hair is growing in, the new growth area, it's still pretty blonde. Um, but for the most part, it's not too drastic. A lot of people have told me it looks like mermaid hair and it's really cool. I've gotten lots of compliments on it. Um, I've also gotten a lot of crazy looks from old people who are just not from this generation. I totally get it. My own grandmother looked at me and she's like, oh my gosh, you look so much older. Like it puts years on you, but it's because she thought it looked gray in the light that we were in. So, I mean, it does, it's kind of a shocking thing um, and I'm not really all about crazy colored hair but it was something fun and um, I just thought it'd be something interesting to try out and to review so if you guys want to give it a try it's called viral this one is the lavender color wash and like I said you can buy it at Cosmoprof you can probably find it on Amazon I wouldn't trust eBay I know sometimes on eBay people will sell you this stuff and they just have the bottle and they put in like a cheaper product so they can sell it for cheaper to you and make money on it so don't probably buy it there but um, trusted sites on Amazon and um, if you can actually order from Cosmoprof, I don't know if you can, um, maybe check your local Sally's uh, Beauty Supply, they may have it as well. And if anything, I'm sure they have a website that you can buy from. I'll actually check that out right now. Let's see. Um, this one's retail on Amazon anywhere from 21 to 26. They've got teal color, blue, light blue, yellow. Here, this one is actually, it shows the full spectrum of color. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this or not. There is just a large range of colors up there. Orange, yellow, violet, rose gold. Um, and these are selling for $22 and free shipping. Not eligible for Prime, so this may not be so much of a trusted store on Amazon, so just be careful if you do that. And then they also sell their moisturizing conditioner to go along with it, and that doesn't have a color to it. That might be something I might actually look into. Um, I feel like I over conditioned my hair as is. But anyway, so there's that. And I'm actually gonna see, like I said, if they have their own website. So they mainly sell in salons, which is why they probably, um, they may not sell it on here. Click here for products. So here is the full list of colors. Extreme silver, extreme yellow, extreme teal. These are very extreme colors. Extreme blue and extreme purple. Extreme red, extreme hot pink, pastel lavender, which is the one I have, and it looks extreme blue. Um, pastel baby blue, pastel light pink, and then they have their moisture wash, their extreme blonde toner, and their smoothing styler. And it doesn't look like you can actually purchase these things on the website. You have to purchase them, professional purchases, you have to be professional to purchase these, unless you buy them on Amazon, so just be super careful if you do that. Um, if you buy them from the stores, they're going to be guaranteed, so... That's probably your best option. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this stuff. If you've tried it, if you tried Overtone, I'm really curious how people feel about that product. Um, and leave a comment if you like the hair color, if you don't like the hair color. Um, and like I said, I'll insert pictures of my previous color so you can kind of see a comparison. 
Um, I didn't think to start filming this until after my hair was already made the transformation. So let me know what you think. Give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let me know about any other products you'd like me to do. And thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep it sassy.